Hey guys, I'm Domin Ultra, and welcome to another Dying Light 2 Bounties Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the Huntress. We're going to look at her bounties, her missions, and I'm going to explain to you guys which bounties you guys should do and how you can do them. Now before we get into this, I'd like to set a like goal for today. Let's go for 400 likes, I'd really appreciate it, so make sure to go down, leave a like. And if you do enjoy these videos, then leave me a like anyways. Now before we get into the bounties and whatnot, I just want to let you guys know about a few tips. Now first off, playing the game on easy, very simple, it's a simple trick. You don't have to play this on hard or any other difficulty, easy will be faster. And second, if you're on console, you can do this trick where you can restart the timer for the bounties. Now every bounty you complete, you'll have to wait a certain amount of time before you can do them again. So, for example, daily bounties, obviously you need to wait for 24 hours. And weekly, you gotta wait for a whole week. But if you go in your settings on your console, PS5 and Xbox, you can go to your date and time and then set it manually. You can then skip a week or skip a day depending on what you want to do. And then you can do the bounties again during the same day. So that way you can get through the levels and get to the tokens a lot easier and faster. Now in comparison to the Huntress and Harper, her bounties have a more simple way of doing them. They're not the easiest or the fastest, but they are very simple. Now you can pretty much do most of her bounties just by doing her regular mission. Now her regular mission will cost you 300 mutation samples, but when you complete it, you'll get 600. So you'll pretty much double the amount you've spent. Or in other words, get 300 extra. Now the strategy that I have is that you should do the regular missions to help you rank up. And by the end of it, you'll have enough mutation samples to do the elite ones, which will give you a token after every time you complete it. So I recommend, of course, doing the regular missions. And then once you've fully leveled up or ranked up with her rank, you can then do the elite ones and get the tokens that way. The reason why I think this is a good idea is because when you do the elite ones, you don't get any mutation samples at all. And it costs you 600 to do one. Now moving on to the bounties. Whatever bounties I suggest you guys do, these are the only ones you should be doing. Anything else is just a waste of time. Now first thing, all the weekly bounties, all three of them, you should be doing these. You'll be doing them anyways during the regular mission, so might as well have them activated. Which of course are the Plague Bearers Hunted, you'll be killing those in the regular mission, and those do count. As well as the Hag Tracks Inspected, you'll be doing 25 of those, so after every 5 of these missions, you'll have this completed. And Hags Hunted, at the end of every one of these missions, you'll be killing one Hag, so you'll be doing this easily in 4 missions. Now moving on to the daily ones. First up we have the Welcome to the Jungle one which has you inspect Hag Tracks. You'll be doing these anyway, so might as well have this equipped. Did my time. Hag Tracks inspected during the day. Now, if you've gotten bored of these missions and you're out and about in Villador doing these, go ahead. But if not, I'm not really sure if these count when you do the regular mission. I'm pretty sure it, you know, sets the time to night. But you could try your luck and see if it works. Uh, this next one just has L-E a bunch of times. I'm not going to bother embarrassing myself trying to say this. But it pretty much has you hunting hags, which you'll be doing that in the mission. So make sure you do this. Toxicity. Plague bearers hunted without entering noxious clouds. This one might be a little difficult if you're not using ranged weapons or if you're not careful. But I still think this is pretty easy, so you might as well do it. Can't stop. Enemies headshot using ranged weapons. A little bit of issue with the grammar, but... Yeah, this one, if you're using ranged weapons, the crossbow also counts. You can pretty much get this done very quickly. And that is actually it. Just these, and that's it. You won't have to do that much. And if you do the weekly ones, you'll pretty much, you know, be done with it easily. And also, once you've fully ranked up, I still recommend you do these, because every time you rank up again, you'll be getting a token. So that's pretty much it. The only tips I can give for the missions is that... There's almost always two tracks on this level right here. And then the other three on, are on the bottom level, like down the elevator shaft. And a neat trick about the first level is that if you see UV bars, that's pretty much guaranteed that there's a hag track inside. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. And also the same thing for the bottom level. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave me a like before you go. Leave me a comment if you found this helpful and what else you guys want to see. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.